Hello everyone and welcome to my first Tech Tips episode. I hope to have the space and time to make some of these Tech Tips uh, video to show my experience on working on FPV drones and similar to share this experience with you and try to help you in solve problems when flying and filming with uh, drones like this. Okay, today we are going to speak of the Insta360 Go. Right in this day, the version 2 of this uh, of this camera came out from Insta360, but uh, at the moment it's very expensive and I guess that a lot of FPV users are going to keep this in their hands because it's a good camera, it's quite reliable, it's easy to use, but, well, not so easy to use because of this stupid LED that makes things, well, look here, go on. The Insta360 Go has a very big problem, that is the shape of the lens here, that gives no possibility to fit an ND filter on it. Uh, maybe if you take a look around the tube, you can find some video from other users that try to put an ND filters from other cameras such as like a GoPro, try to fit it in front, but the quality of the video can get very very low because of the light that comes in the space between ND filter and lens. So the solution that I found is to work on the mount on the drone. So as you know, the jello effect is something very bad that comes from the rotation and the inertia from uh, propellers rotating and motors rotating that moves the drones like this. So you have something like uh, waves in your video footage vertical waves. Well, the solution I found by making a lot of tests, as you can see, I have, here is a test with, uh, this is all 3D printed parts made from TPU, they are soft, they are very elastic. I made a lot of them to to try to get a solution on this, uh, on this very big problem of this camera especially. The first test I've done to understand if in real effectively there was gel effect it was a mount that was a direct mount on the frame this is a base like this one you can see here this one was printed in red PLA this is an attachment that sounds like the GoPro attachment as you can see this is an, uh, an M M3 screw and it was a direct fit and this is the result here we go, time to take off, motor around, and as you can see, the moment when I just armed the motors of the drone, the jello appeared in the video footage. And this is the proof that the only problem, the only reason that caused the, the jello effect in the footage is the rotation and the spinning of motors and propellers. It is not caused by wind or movements or any other vibration due to the, the, the movements of the, of the drone in, in the air. It is just caused by the spinning of motors and propellers. As you can see, the quality is quite good from an Insta360 GO. It's not a 4K camera, but a video like this is not usable at all. So, get back on the bench and see how to get a solution to this problem. I used two little O-rings, O-ring ceiling, they are made of rubber, as you can see, I can I can unfit them and disassembly, okay, here we are, this is a rubber O-rings, it came uh, from, I don't know, technical parts or maybe automotive or cars or just uh, sayings, you can find it on any hardware shops or maybe you can find it on the internet, on Amazon. I really don't remember exactly the measure of this O-ring right here. We can take a little measures here. It is two millimeters, I guess. Yes, it is two millimeters in section. And uh, I guess now it is a little bit stretched, but it could be something like 13 or 14 millimeters, the inner diameter. Anyway, the solution was clear. It worked very, very well. I think I found a very good solution. And you can see I am using it also on this other drone. This is a 3-inch drone. It's a Gap RC. And also here is quite something similar. I made it 
a little bit different as you can see here the the two o-rings are a little bit thicker i guess it's uh, 2.5 or 3 yes it's a 3 millimeter in section and this soft mount can remove all the vibrations from the motors and it worked the fitting of the insta360 it's quite easy you can just flip it in okay it could seems quite floppy but uh, as you're going to see in in the video now the the mount is uh, is very effective i i crashed it a couple of times and uh, it uh, it never came off uh, from the mount I on the on the o-rings or even from the the case and uh, it worked well i i i enjoyed this uh, this solution so now take a look <laughs> Okay, my friend, this was everything about uh, the tech tips of today from Gervaso FPV. This is how I solved the problem of Jello with the Insta360 Go when flying on FPV drones. Remember to subscribe to my channel for new footage or tech tips like this. And remember, stay always work in progress. Bye!